Welcome to this video on the basic body orientation terms. While this might seem pretty simplistic, uh, it is important to be able to understand some of these terms and vocabulary, because if you're generating a report or look, reading an autopsy, these are the terms that are gonna be used, so it's important that you have an understanding of them. So these anatomical positions, uh, they're used to describe regions of the body in common terms and vocabulary, and this is how scientists uh, can communicate easily with one another so that everyone is, has the same mental image and everyone's on the same page. Now when we're looking at some of the key terms you should be familiar with. Well, one is the superior and the inferior. So at the example here, the superior is towards the head and the inferior is towards the feet. So keep in mind when we're looking at describing something or where something might be progressing to, uh, when we're looking at kind of towards the head or towards the feet, we'd use the terms superior or inferior here. We also have terms called dorsal and ventral. Uh, and dorsal is towards the back and ventral is towards the front. So I have the picture of the fish here because a lot of th times we think of the dorsal fin, which is on the top here. It's on the back of the fish, the ventral side to the underside. Relating this to humans, you know, that dorsal cavity would be kind of where the backbone vertebrae are, and the ventral cavity is more towards uh, the frontier, where the chest and stomach are located. So keep in mind of that dorsal and ventral, uh, no matter what the orientation of the organism is. Getting to proximal and distal, proximal is towards the point of attachment and distal away from the point of attachment. So when we're looking at kind of the arm, the proximal area is closer uh, towards the shoulder. The distal region is getting out towards uh, the hand there, away from the point of attachment. So again, this might be important in particular of limbs, looking at lacerations and describing them as far as where they might be located or they might be traveling. Then we have potentially uh, discovering a body, it might be on the supine or the prone position. Supine is laying on the back side, which we can see evident as this person is, and then prone would be laying on the belly side. So describing how a potential victim was found at a crime scene, uh, these terms will often be used if the victim is lying horizontally. Then we have anterior and posterior, and anterior is the front side and posterior is the back. We can see that evident here as well. So again, keeping in mind some of uh, these orientation positions will help aid in a lot of the description. And then lastly, we have something called medial, and then we have lateral. So medial is closer to the midline of the body, and lateral will be away from the midline of the body. We can see that described or shown uh, right here, along with some of the other terms that we covered. So again, some of this is just that memorization, uh, but knowing these terms will not only allow you to produce a quality report, but read one that might be generated from somebody else.